What's going on to a blurry video? There we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video you guys want to know about the light bar right there. Yes, well it's not there. We're going to install the light bar. Um, so I kind of got ahead of you guys. My apologies, but I have already installed the brackets. I will uh, grab the creeper, get under here, and show you guys. But uh, real quick, so when the brackets do come, they are going to come just bare, oh, bare metal. And uh, I will show you guys real quick how I mount them. It's pretty dang easy. You can't really mess it up. And first things first, guys, let me get my light for you. Um, I'm going to show you the brackets, but make sure you take this uh, valance off right here. So I installed the, uh, the brackets already and then put this back on. Well, because I didn't finish the light, we started on the train horn, so I just put this back on. So when I drive it, I, don't know, I just didn't like the way it looks. So now we're going to pull this back off, and then I will show you guys the brackets real quick that are, uh, you can't really see it until this is off, but oh, so you can see kind of right there, the bracket. There's one there, but let me pull this off real quick. So we got the valance off now. You can see how much more room there is up here. So if I can get this light for you guys. You can see the bracket right here. So it connects right here to this bottom bolt of the grill. And then there's going to be two, or you're going to have four holes that comes with the truck. You don't have to make the holes or anything. It comes with the truck right up here. That's where the top part of the uh, bracket is going to mount. So you got two there, one there. You can't really mess it up because it can only go, you know, one way. Here's the other one right here, right there. So you got that there, the two up there. The light will mount one there, and then it's going to have another one, or is it right there for you guys to adjust the light up and down. And then it will be coming, you know, right out of the grill. So now I got the brackets uh, painted. So now let's install the light, and I'll show you the wiring. The wiring we're not going to have to use a lot of their wiring. I shouldn't say a lot, but all of it. So. Pretty much because I hook them up to the auxiliary switches, the auxiliary switches in uh, the RAM, they already have relays, and this doesn't pull a lot of power, so you're not going to have to up it or do anything crazy like we did with the train horn. So what I'm going to do is, just all the wires, so all I need is this part right here. So see this? This part's going to plug into the, whoa, whoa, into the uh, Baja light, just like that. Bam. Here's the Baja light right here. All right, and I, I got the, uh, it's a 20 inch. I got the Onyx uh, 6. You can get another 20 inch, uh, but I believe right now the guy at CJC, Cole, told me that the Onyx 6 is the best one and the brightest one. So if you guys want the best Baja design, 20 inch, go with the Onyx 6. Again, huge shout out to CJC uh, for sending me this, their kit for the 19 Ram 3500. Gotta give them big thanks. They have been taking care of me guys a lot. So CJC, uh, all you guys there, thank you. It is much appreciated. So we are going to plug this part into the light. This, what I'm going to do is, and again, you guys don't have to do it. This is how I'm gonna do it because I wanna use the auxiliary switches. You don't need uh, this power cord. You don't need any of this stuff. I'm gonna cut it right here. And all I'm gonna do is ground this wire right here the black wire grounded just somewhere under the truck send this up to the auxiliary and that's it it should be good to go i mean we're, we're going to give it a shot but that should uh, all be it because the auxiliary switches are already powered and grounded so and have fuses so you'll be good to go okay so now we're going to get our uh, directions that it comes with the trucks if you guys have the ram with the uh, upfitter switches this video will apply to you if you have a ram and don't have upfitter switches then do not cut this wire, guys, because you're, you're going to mess everything up. So you're going to have to do it the regular way, where you hook this, uh, the positive and negative up. You don't have to use their switch, uh, but you can, you know, use whatever switch you want and keep the relay and the fuses, all that. So for people that have the upfitter switches, this is what we're going to do. So I already have aux 1 and 2 occupied by the train horn. Now we are going to put this one in aux 3. Aux 3 is pink and violet looks like the colors. I don't know, these colors are, I mean, and you don't have to go off the colors, guys. Uh, you can honestly pick any color you want to put in there. I just go off the colors, but you know, I'm not sure what color that one is, so I'll probably just grab any one. And again, I'll show you where to plug them in. It's going to be right up here, but let me get the light so you guys can see. All right, guys, so we're going to now unplug right here. So here is your 
upfitter switches right there. You got your top one, your bottom one. Auxiliary three is going to be this one right there. So I'm gonna unplug this now, pop that little green um, grommet out, and then plug the factory plug in. All right, so we've stripped the wire back. We're gonna get a butt connector now out of here. And uh, and if you guys, oh, you guys, some of you guys asked me, Andy, what are these three things? Are these all butt connectors? Because you've grabbed them. Uh, no, they're not all butt connectors, guys. This, oh, this is you gonna uh, have all of like nuts and bolts over there. But there's some things that I install. I like to use uh, Allen heads just because I I think it's my personal opinion. The Allen looks cleaner. You know, I don't know. I like the look of the Allen better than you know a socket. So if you you know you grab one of these, it's a nice. Well, if this thing ever focuses, a nice flush um, Allen head on it. So I just think this looks cleaner than having a uh, you know regular nut and bolt. See, I mean it's just it's it's more uh, flush. So I mean it's your personal opinion, but uh, yeah. And then uh, we got some other just like uh, drywall screws, you know, concrete screws, stuff like that. And then all my butt connectors are in just this one. And I got some in that uh, upper toolbox right here. But these are like your everyday stuff that you're going to use. So we're going to take, it's probably going to be a blue. And I like to use these guys, not the plastic ones. Because the plastic ones, you can't heat shrink. These heat shrink, they seal up nice. The plastic ones don't. Usually what you do is, on those plastic when you crimp them, they end up cracking on you. And they just, they, they look cheap. They don't look good. What you can do also, if you guys don't have any of the butt connectors, you can buy, like purchase these. So this is pretty much a butt connector just without the plastic uh, on the end. So you can just use heat shrink or something and I got them all in, the, in different sizes. Now, if you guys do get them in plastic, for an example, what I did is the uh, company, the Horn Blasters, they sent them in plastic, which you know, it's no big deal. Uh, I probably threw them away, but you, what you can do is just cut the plastic uh, out of it so like I needed to use the horn blasters the big ones because I didn't have any that big so just cut the plastic off right here the top and pull it off and then just use the inside and then run some heat shrink in it do it that way um, that way it's a lot cleaner but right now we're gonna start with a blue and uh, go from there okay so since the uh, blue one didn't work come up with the yellow one crimped it it's a nice tight did the pull test on it good fit so now let's start uh, wiring everything up. Oh yeah, we got stuff for the new Ding Ding uh, has arrived. We got, I can't wait to try this. So this came out, this is a, well this is just an adapter to go from 30 to uh, 50, just for my uh, generator over there, we go to the desert. But this thing, you know, I got this, I've been hearing a lot about these. Let me know if you guys wanna do a review or if you want me to do a review on it. So this thing's nice, it's got an app, it tells you, you know, wattage, amperage, you know, power, it's, it tells you everything on the app, and also it is a surge protector too, uh, lets you know before you're about to blow something. But yes, the trailer is a 50 amp system, so uh, I will be on campgrounds using just the 50 amp, but for the desert, I use a 30 amp on the generator over there. All right guys, so to the wiring harness, uh, or for the wiring harness, this was connected, so we cut it off now because we're not going to need it. Put that there so you see all this. We're not going to use any of this right here. The only thing I did, I just cut where the plug is, bam, to there. That's it. This is all XNA gone. Bye bye. And that's it. We store it there. And now we'll start running uh, this wire. This is why I like these um, heat shrink butt connectors because number one, it gets it tight, but number two, you guys see like that little goo that's coming out of it? It's a water protector. So no water, no moisture, none of that gets in there. So that's why I highly recommend you guys get some of these. You can get them at uh, like your local marine store. They have a lot of these connectors. All right guys, so what I like to do now is, this is the wire that's going to plug in there. Wrap it with something. Uh, don't just leave it, you know, bare wire. You can use wire loom. Uh, you know, these are, this is like a heat treatment that I use. Not saying it's hot, but uh, it's gonna get hot in there. But uh, I like it just because I use this for everything. And if you're wondering, this is the stuff right here. You can get it in all different sizes. Good for up to 1200 degrees. You can get them, you know, three eighths, half inch, whatever you want. Um, I got a bunch of these and it's, that's just, this is the stuff that I like to use. I just, cause I've been using it forever and uh, it's done good for me. Number three uh, wire, auxiliary three wire is now installed. Bam, just like that guys. And plugged right back in. Now we're gonna take our light bar, get this thing installed and start wiring it up. I gotta say, she's pretty. 
And the light bar that I got, it is, you see here, combo, 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 combo. And all of these are spots. So it's gonna have a big spot with a little bit of combo so it's not just one solid B. All right guys, so we got, you see the light bar installed, ready to go. Uh, I wouldn't tighten the nuts up too much just so you can adjust this thing, which there isn't much adjustment on here. Cause if you start, you know, moving it, you can see sort of right here, you got, you know, about a finger you can fit in there uh, to adjust, but you also don't want it all, you know, cockeyed and everything. So I'm just trying to set this up as straight as possible. And then uh, at night we'll go for a drive and try it out. But now we're going to start doing the wiring here. So what I'm going to do for the wiring, I haven't figured out yet 100%, but I'm going to run this. There is a wiring harness, existing one from the factory right there. So I'm going to run this down and follow the existing wiring harness. Sorry guys, I know the footage kind of sucks down here. But I'm going to follow the existing wiring harness and then uh, take it up top to connect it to the auxiliary. Also guys, I forgot to mention uh, when I said I'm going to ground this. I don't think this needs a ground. Only reason is because these auxiliary switches already are already grounded. So I'm going to, th when I with this uh, one wire right here, the white wire that I cut, when I plug this into here and hit that auxiliary three, this light should kick on no problem. And what I mean by why you don't need the fuse or the relay, well because they're already in here, you have the fuses and relay in this box for the auxiliary switches. That's what's in this box right here. This one is for the truck and there's more you know, on the other side, but for your aux, it's all in here. So now I'm gonna finish uh, button up, buttoning up the wiring. Uh, I just ran it you know, down and came across through here tucked it into the little foam pad that's in here, came around just like that, and then I'm going to wire loom the white wire so you don't just see a white wire. Hook it up and zip tie everything. We should be good to go. I am. There you go. You see that? Oh, now it looks like, there you go. So we got all ran, ran it across here, ran it right under, dropped it down. We got our wire loom on it. So now when we push aux number three, that bar should light up. So let's go push aux number three and see what happens over here. Turn this light off. Number three, bam. We should have light. If we don't have light, well, we got a problem then. Nope, I see light. Bam, what do you guys think? Damn, it's a bright bar. Let there be light. And that's it guys, it's really that easy. So again, like I was saying, uh, you don't need actually that ground wire. So when I cut it, remember when I said I was just gonna ground it, let me turn it off, ground it down uh, below somewhere. I just remembered that you don't need to because all the aux are grounded. So all it is is when you cut that one wire that's right here, or the two wires, all you need is this one wire right here, just this white one. This black one I just cut off, got rid of it. So I mean, you're, you're pretty much good to go. All right guys, now it is time to put the uh, balance back on and you guys wonder why I don't run it? Well, because look at that. So when I'm coming, you know, uh, it just, you get too much stuff exposed. If this truck's coming at you, it just doesn't look good uh, with that thing off. And guys, if you're wondering on uh, the balance, it's a bunch of 10 millimeter uh, nuts over here. Oh, 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 pull it off. Bunch of these, uh, 10 mil, jeez Louise, I'm dropping these things everywhere. Bunch, let's try this again, a bunch of these 10 mils that I am uh, putting back on over here. And then you got a couple of the, uh, those little plastic connectors. This is not very hard to uh, to put back on. It's, it's pretty easy, just when you are putting it back on, make sure you line everything up so you don't have a hard time, oh, 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 put, having a hard time putting it back on or uh, strip any of these things out right here well bam just like that guys light bar is in all done i gotta say i do like how clean it is flush it is uh you know i right now they don't have it i know you guys are probably gonna say what's going on behind the grill right now they don't have anything for behind the grill because of the uh flaps that are in here so probably get in the way of that but how I did it was just wired it to auxiliary three. I got number one as a compressor. I want to be able to use that in the desert without starting the truck. Two, the train horn. Three, you know, I just, I like to, if I want to show somebody how to start the truck or turn the key on, I can just hit auxiliary three and show them how the light bar works. So again, big uh, thanks and shout out to CJC, uh, CJC for sending me this light bar. It looks great. The install was very, very easy. The install, I would say, was probably about 30, 40 minutes, if that. Uh, 
I gotta say, you know, there wasn't really any hard. The hardest part was probably just, I don't know, maybe putting the brackets on, but other than that, it's pretty easy, guys. You can paint the brackets. I would say with painting, install everything an hour, you know, no more. If it takes you more than an hour, no big deal. Uh, it's just, you'll figure it out. It's a very easy install. And you guys can DM me at Eddie's Life on Instagram in case you got any messages or comments about the light bar. Uh, let me know. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.